Hello everyone, I'm back into the routine after a good break and good rest that was needed and when the day begins as beautiful as this, it actually fills me up with a lot of energy and enthusiasm to do all that I was set to do, um, which was on hold. And my Prosenic Cordless Vacuum Cleaner comes very helpful and I know I'm going to use it for good today. So setting it to charge up. The display panel shows the battery getting charged. It's amber for now. We'll wait for it to turn green. It's cold and windy here and I love eating warm breakfast. So here I have my air fryer set to preheat for 5 minutes time at 180 degrees. And I'm planning to make sweet potato skins filled with goodness. For which I have one sweet potato that I've cut in half. Smearing in oil and then setting them in the air fryer for 15 minutes time. Parallelly, I start working on the filling with two large carrots that I grate, one medium onion finely chopped. In a saucepan, I have a tablespoon of oil, mustard seeds, onions, a teaspoon of garlic and ginger paste, Grated carrots, handful of frozen corn that I saute and then I add in very little of water. I scoop out the middle section of sweet potatoes. And then I just roughly chop them, adding in the sweet potatoes to the filling and mixing in with a teaspoon of Kashmiri red chilli powder, one eighth teaspoon of turmeric powder, salt to taste, one and a half teaspoon of dhania powder, which is coriander powder, we call it as kottamri kalini puri. Uh, this stuffing can be used in bread slices, uh, pita pockets or even in wraps. I finish off by adding in finely chopped coriander leaves. Um, there is so much of joy in squeezing fresh large oranges. Um, what I love the most is the bits uh, giving that whole lot of freshness feel as you drink. I divide it equally and I have a slice of toast and sweet potato skins that I have saved up to fill in. Carrots and sweet potato skins with toast slice, fresh orange juice, pecan and honey. Sweet potatoes are really good for health with great source of fibers, vitamins and minerals. Um, you can eat it as it is but I love to drizzle in honey for its goodness and taste with a few pecans on top. After a good breakfast, it's always easier to get started to do some active chores around the house and whenever it's a windy day, I make sure to get the washing up line uh, with tablecloths like this one or bedspreads or duvet covers which actually helps in drying, the, uh, drying them up quickly.
even though the sun is quite bright outside, it's very cold and a windy day, which has actually blown out our garden furniture as well. Um, before I step out, I would prefer to stack up the dishwasher first and then go out. Um, it's a lot helpful when the household chores are done one after the other. I thought it would be good to keep them towards one corner as they are super light in weight and stacking them up will hold them strong at one place, hopefully. Uh, because of the wind, this tablecloth will be all dry naturally by evening. This is Sanika's room which is quite big in size having two big sized wardrobes uh, for her and the other one which is a spare one which is shared between me and my husband um, wherein I have my sari collection on this side and on the other side is my husband's clothes and his files and office bags um, but he occasionally uses this wardrobe space and with Shreya at uni now has almost cleared her wardrobe space so thought this will be the right time to rearrange and organize this space in a more organized way which is much needed to be cleaned and used in a better way uh, a very big sized wardrobe which is in the height of the room and is quite shocking to see the dirt accumulated um, over the time wardrobes and drawers are places that we hardly reach inside or make an effort to clean regularly um, but just a little spray is all that was needed to clean and clear it was that easy Um, right on top with these two shelves uh, holding so many things that I actually feel winter months are the right time to declutter as I prefer to be indoors and not going out much uh, like as in summer months saving up a lot of energy and the time that I can dedicate now uh, in organizing the home and I have these donation bags uh, so many clothes that are in a very good condition in good sets to give away as they would hardly fit me anymore um, woolen scarves the pattas a little home decoration stuff um, with a bag is all that i can donate for good and i think it's just the right time as well before christmas to donate anything that we can which would be helpful to donate uh, and to anyone who is in need I wore my first sari when I was 16 and this is my very first sari blouse that I have saved up uh, still in a very good condition. Every time every year there used to be a sari day at college and I used to grab a fabric piece from my mom's wardrobe, get a blouse stitched within a day to match with my mom's sari and I still remember uh, I did this jardosi work in one of the sleeve when I was in my final year and didn't have the time to finish and complete all of it um, on the other sleeve anyways i thought it will be covered as i was planning to wear a single pallu and it's the same after all these years i've still not managed or made up my mind to finish um, the work on the other side of the sleeve and this is the real joy of cleaning a wardrobe which brings back so many fond memories even though it has been decades still very fresh and strong on mind and these are the set of wedding sari blouse that don't fit me anymore uh, i really should try and work around to see what best i can do with them 
of getting it arranged today. Um, cordless vacuum cleaner, which is fully charged now. I love Prasanic i10 with it being super light in weight and I can easily move it around with it being cordless. No wires, no tangles, no fuss either. Um, compact and super light in weight to carry around. They have an amazing Black Friday deal that I highly recommend you all to have a look at, making it perfect to buy it for yourself or as a Christmas present for your dear ones. Just a touch of button to get started and adjusting the speed on the touch display, selecting the mode and to move with ease. The electric broom head moves and rotates easily in all directions and the LED light making it more visible and clear from our sight at a very long distance. What I love about Prosonic Item Cordless Vacuum Cleaner of it being super handy that I can easily move and not feeling heavy at all or getting uh, tired even after cleaning. Just a click of button to detach from the electric broom and insert the round suction tip making it even more comfortable and easy to clean to all the places that is actually hard to reach out to uh, making it easy to clean now. You can actually now enjoy 15% off when purchasing Prasanic i10 during this Black Friday. So please make sure to check out the link in the description box. Now is the right time to buy as this is the biggest offer of the year. I'm leaving a link in the description box for you all to go ahead and buy this stunning cordless vacuum cleaner from Prasanic. I'm so hungry now that I thought I should take a break and eat lunch on time. I have kudo millet that I have washed and soaked in water for almost 6 hours time that I set to boil and have quickly chopped all that will be needed to make millet wangi bath with a twist. Wangi actually means badnikai, brinjal, but I'm actually not going to add any today but it's the wangi bath powder that I'm going to use to make this wonderful dish. In a large saucepan, I have a tablespoon of oil, a tablespoon of ghee, mustard seeds, cashew nuts, urad dal, one big onion chopped lengthwise with two green chilies, and a tomato, a good amount, a good portion of spinach, which is palak leaves. The millet is cooked as you can see the greens are all fluffed up. And now is the time that I add in the magical ingredient which is Wangi Bath powder that I bought from a local store in India uh, which is Ardhavaishya condiments who make freshly ground powders that taste incredibly good. And I'm very disheartened to see it finish this quick. I should have bought more. Um, it's that good. Now for the raita, I have yogurt blended in with water. I add in a teaspoon of cumin powder, chopped cucumber and tomatoes and coriander leaves with salt to taste. I add in the millets to the goju with salt. This is a very simple dish with good proteins involved and is a one pot quick meal that will fill you up with goodness of millets and leaving a great taste on your tongue that your taste buds will want to eat this again. I have a papad that I have roasted adding in ghee and Kashmiri red chilli powder. It's good and easy to keep such recipes on mind, making it perfect to enjoy either as breakfast, uh, during lunchtime or for dinner. A millet wangi bath with just wangi bath powder involved. Yes, you can use any brand powder. Of course, the taste will vary depending on what you pick to choose. After a good lunch, I thought this is the time to shift and organize now. Um, I'm planning to have the whole of the wardrobe to myself in arranging 
just my sarees only. Um, I'm a total saree person giving any occasion I'm always up ready to wear a saree. Now the plan here which was my dream to get sections of having heavy bordered Kanchivaram sarees on one side. Uh, now these sarees are from my wedding that I have gathered and many of them belong to my mother-in-law as well. Um, very important step when arranging the wardrobe is to have a same set of hangers which actually plays a very important role uh, in the appearance making a huge difference when arranged. I have got these hangers from IKEA and also second important tip to mix and match with colors when arranging which actually gives you the idea of picking the color uh, when you want to wear a sari and also looks beautiful when arranged mixing with colors. Previously I used to fold up my sari petticoats but now I have rolled them and have arranged right at the bottom um, visible uh, to pick up the right color to match the sari and it is also becomes easy a lot easy to pick without disturbing other rolled pieces than stacking them up one above the other Uh, now moving on to this side, uh, planning to have the top section for designer wear sarees and the bottom section for super light in weight plain sarees to cotton sarees and lightly printed sarees. Um, I'm changing the hangers to match and just shuffling them to either top or bottom uh, to see where they would belong. Now I had and I have this wish uh, seeing it taking its shape of gifting sarees to my family. I am super blessed to have a very big family who have always loved me and pampered me and I am very thankful for that. Um, to whatever I am today, the very little growth to what I have achieved being a social influencer, I always wished to gift my uh, with my own ability to anything that I can and here I have managed to gather five sarees from now um, from my collaborations that I work for to make them mine um, which you all must have seen in my previous videos. I have gathered five sarees for now and in total I will need 15 sarees to all those beautiful ladies in my life who are very dear to me. I am yet to gather 10 more which I shall try hard to make and fulfill this wish of mine. Uh, what I am today is because of their good wishes and blessings and they are all worth the gifts. My mom, my akka, my atge, my co-sisters, my chikamas and my mummies. Uh, we have to always set ourselves to achieve something that we wish and rest assured nature will show us the right path to achieve whatever we desire. So here is my bundle of mixing and matching sari blouses that I like and prefer to keep them in common. Uh, these are some of them. Brocade ones go really well with plain saris um, that I try my best to keep and give a different pattern and look to sari blouses in a very modest way. Um, knitted blouses also go really well to match many saris. They still have the latest vibe yet giving a very decent look to match with your saris. I bought this blouse from Mintra that can be matched with uh, saris and lehengas as well. A full length uh, bell sleeved blouse. A hot pink color is a must to have that um, matches with many of my saris and also gives the trendy look with its color. This blouse piece actually came with a specific sari but because it has a mix of colors and shades and I got it. Uh, like a heavy work done on this um, so I prefer to keep it in common to blend in with other saris as well. A white crop top that I picked on a sale from Primark gives that extremely different look when matched with saris and this very simple green and gold has actually proven to be matched well with many of my saris is what I have realized. Another hot pink color, a different pattern and look and yes pink is a must for the wardrobe is what I can say. Very classic combination of rich gold and black comes a long way to match with any of your saris. 
So this one actually is from a very old lehenga choli that I have preserved just the choli uh, to give an extraordinary look to match with your sarees. If you have some old ones, make sure to save your choli. A very classic full sleeved rose gold crop top that I like to layer on the blouses or dresses. It gives a very unique touch with its appearance. A black crop top, puffed sleeve which is 3 4 in length. I bought this from Sheen that can be used for any casual wear to even parties as well. And the most universal is this golden color that I think majorly we all have one in our wardrobe to match with our wedding sarees, um, the blouses that don't fit us anymore. And a silver metallic also plays a good role to match uh, the most unusual colored sarees. A vibrant printed blouse to match with plain sarees. A high boat neck is what I love for this one. Um, a puffed sleeve in royal blue and here is another long sleeved crop top. I love matching crop tops with my sarees that give a different look and feel. And here we got um, two wardrobe railings attached one below the other mainly to hang these blouses. I really think and feel it's important to have a specific space just for the blouses and the ones which we can have in common can be kept neatly arranged so that it's easier to pick and see what matches well with the sarees. Now when I arrange, I keep it in using the sleeve length, um, half sleeved on top uh, along with full sleeved ones on the other side and the mega sleeves which are shorter in length to go at the bottom um, as these are in majority. Um, I'm loving to see what I managed to have and really can't wait to use it from now on. And here are some more blouses that I thought can fit in here. Um, Multicolored back zip with a boat neck and a very retro style blouse that I am using uh, these clip on style hangers that normally comes in with kids clothing uh, comes very useful to hang blouses and they stay in place with the clips on. I have finished using all the new ones that I had ordered from Amazon. So using these ones now with two rods inserted one below the other in the wardrobe. Um, I had to move the sari petticoats on the other side at the bottom. Um, all that uh, will be needed to wear a sari is everything in one place from now on. I'm so 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 pleased with the outcome and using this space in the best possible way that I could. I really hope you found something for yourself to do as well. Love for sarees grows more stronger by having a specific wardrobe just for itself. Finally, I have finished arranging the wardrobe and I feel so relieved, good, uh, having that space all to myself. And now that it's dinner time, I have just gathered all the veggies that I have in the refrigerator to make baked pasta. A white pot uh, to cook the pasta. And we'll continue to use the same uh, to bake as well. I have pasta shells with salt and hot water. Parallelly in a saucepan I have olive oil, a teaspoon of caraway seeds and tomatoes. I sprinkle in salt giving it a stir and wait for them to soften. I chop the veggies, broccoli into florets. 
carrots into slices, onions and peppers into big chunks. You can add in any vegetables of your choice, it will taste good. Uh, with the tomatoes softened, I add in a teaspoon of parsley, a teaspoon of chilli flakes, a teaspoon of garlic granules, half a teaspoon of thyme, a teaspoon of sugar and salt to taste. The pasta shells are cooked but are still nice and firm and this is the right time to drain the water and I continue using the same pot with a tablespoon of olive oil. Broccoli florets and carrot slices. I add these veggies first as they take a little longer uh, to get cooked than the rest of the other vegetables. When they are slightly cooked, I add in onions and green peppers. Adding in the pasta now. I have very little of double cream at home. So I make the most of it by finishing off with a teaspoon of garlic and ginger paste, uh, a teaspoon of paprika and blend the tomatoes with flavours into a smooth paste. Adding it into the pasta and I add in a handful of plump tomatoes and spinach leaves with cream and pasta sauce that I combine and layer up generous amount of grated mozzarella to be baked for 15 minutes time at 200 degrees. The tablecloth is all ready, nice and dry and clean, just on time to eat our dinner. I really hope you found this video useful, informative and productive just the way we want the day to be. Then let's live for it. If yes, then please consider subscribing to my channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching.